Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to easily install Zoom on your Raspberry Pi. Now this will work with basically any Debian based operating system. I just happen to be using Raspberry Pi OS here. But if you do want to run this with Twister OS, it'll also work. Now this actually doesn't involve much work at all and it works really well on the Raspberry Pi 4. So for me, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4. This is a 4 gigabyte model. I've got Raspberry Pi OS installed on a micro SD card and I've picked up a cheap webcam or a cheap USB webcam from Amazon. I'll leave a link to the one I'm using in the description. Now with Zoom, I mean, obviously it's really for video chatting, but if you don't have a camera, you could actually still use this and share your screen if you really wanted to. So this is actually really easy to set up thanks to a couple brilliant developers, and this doesn't run natively on the Raspberry Pi ARM CPU, so we're actually gonna be using Box86 to get this up and running. And in the past, it was a little bit of a pain to set up. Sebastian has done an amazing job with Box86, and I'll leave a link to that website in the description. It basically allows you to run x86 apps on your Raspberry Pi or other devices that support Box86. And you could go through and manually install Box86 and Zoom and get it up and running, but we have an easy application to get this going, and that's PyKiss. Now, I've done several videos on this. It's absolutely amazing. It's basically a little program with a bunch of scripts to make your life easier on the Raspberry Pi. And this is really easy to set up, and Zoom has now been added. So we have Zoom using Box86, and it'll install and set up everything for you. So we're going to get this up and running. This is PyKiss. You will need to be connected online. What we're going to do is open up Terminal, and it's a one-liner. We're just going to curl this right in. All links for everything mentioned are in the description. Give this a little bit of time to download and install. So we now have PyKiss installed. We can go ahead and close everything down. From the drop-down, we're going to go to System Tools and start PyKiss. You can navigate this menu with your mouse if you'd like to, but I'm just going to use the arrow keys and enter on my keyboard. We're going to scroll down to Internet, and we're going to install Zoom right here. Press Enter. It's going to get everything up and going for us. It's going to install Box86, the Zoom application, and it'll actually create a launcher icon up here under Internet. So it's now installed, and it took about a minute and 45 seconds. You can press Enter right here, and I do recommend running it at least one time from here. And we now have Zoom up and running. So you can join a meeting, and we're going to move over to my desk so I can give you a look at this running. But uh, we'll close this down. Next time you want to launch it from the Internet section, we have Zoom right here. So you can just launch it from here every other time you need to run Zoom on the Raspberry Pi. So I want to give you a little demo here and just show you how well it works. So I'm just set up here with the cheaper webcam that I have. It's plugged into one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi. Got a keyboard plugged in, mouse, everything's good to go. We're just going to go up here to the internet section and start Zoom. And by the way, my Raspberry Pi is not overclocked. As you can see, it's just a bare Raspberry Pi 4 laying here. I don't have any cooler on it or anything like that. I'm sure this would function a bit better with an overclock. All I really need to do now is join a meeting. I have one set up on my other PC in the house. So I'll just go ahead and access that meeting I have ongoing. I'm going to run over to the other computer. I'm going to accept myself into the meeting. And we're now running Zoom. I actually have a Nicolas Cage meeting going on on the other computer. So I've joined up in my Nick Cage meeting. We're just taking a look at some of the pictures he's taken over the last few years. But I'm on Zoom right now with the Raspberry Pi. I need to allow access to my camera here, to the USB camera on the Pi. And personally, I don't use Zoom much, so just give me one second to find that setting. It's in here somewhere. Okay, yeah, I mean, it was right there at the bottom. But yeah, as you can see, my camera is working here on the Raspberry Pi. And this does have a microphone built in, so the audio is working. And overall, even on Wi-Fi with the Raspberry Pi, I'm connected to my 5 gigahertz network. It's really not all that bad. I would definitely prefer using Ethernet, but the way it's set up right now, I'm on Wi-Fi. And right now, I'm over at my other PC. I'm just going to do a little bit of scrolling in my Nick Cage meeting. We do this once or twice a year. 
But I mean, yeah, Zoom on the Raspberry Pi 4 works way better than I ever expected it would, given that we're actually using Box86. This is the x86 version of Zoom running on an ARM CPU. And here's a look at the main computer I have the meeting going on with. As you can see, we do have that camera running from the Raspberry Pi, and I can see everything pretty clearly. Now, this camera that I'm using here is not the best quality. I mean, it was the cheaper one that I could find on Amazon, so I'm sure it would work much better with a higher quality camera. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I hope you get Zoom up and running on your Raspberry Pi 4 if you really need it to be working. This was just something that I kind of wanted to get out of the way because it was recently added to PyKiss, and now installing and running Zoom on your Raspberry Pi is easier than it's ever been. All links for everything mentioned in this video will be in the description. And like always, thanks for watching.